Hey y'all, it's Danielle from Large Family Homestead here. We are preparing to do some much needed uh, big batch freezer cooking in this house. We were waiting until we got mowed back. We didn't want to use up any freezer space that we might need, but there is space. And so I am going to fill it. So our plans today, I will show you, but it's chaotic looking, but that's how my brain works. So that's how I write it down. Let me flip you around. I have some things that I'm gonna just get ready for tonight while we're at it. And then our plan is to get some cookie dough in the freezer, some baked, I call it penny pasta, but I know it's penne, some frozen waffles, a lasagna that I have left over that I can make um, from some lasagnas I made last week, uh, burritos and granola. While we're at it, we'll also whip up some cookies for the next few days, french fries for dinner tomorrow, and some dough for wrapping up some little hot dogs for a meal probably tomorrow. So then I just arrow all the ingredients I need and that's what we're in the middle of doing right now. Just gathering all the ingredients and getting ready. So you will see a bunch of us working on these. Uh, we just sort of all jump in where we can and take over. Let's get started. To start off, I worked on making some waffles that we could freeze for an easy breakfast. You'll notice that Roxy does some rounds throughout our cooking experience just to make sure we don't drop anything. In the meantime, Bailey is going to be working on making a batch of granola for another bre easy breakfast one morning. Because we were limited on time, I chose to use the Azure Buttermilk Pancake Mix to make the waffles this time. And of course I put that bag right in front of the camera and you didn't see half of what I was doing. But anyway, it was easier, we were limited on time, so we just did it that way instead of making it from scratch this time around. And Bailey is working on making granola. We have a standard granola recipe that we use, but it calls for walnuts, and we found out after we started that we were out of walnuts. So she just mixed up some oats and some honey and some vanilla, and she's gonna put some toppings in there after she bakes it. Throughout the whole uh, cooking time, we have little people helping us and wanting to get involved. You'll also see that they do lots of taste testing. It's amazing we had any food left over to freeze. So if you enjoy these type of videos, make sure that you like and subscribe. We hope to be doing more of these in the future. This is our first one around to show you. We do freezer cooking normally two or three times a month. It just makes our life easier. And if you want to see us do more of it, you want us to tape it, just let us know. So as you can see, we are trying out that first waffle that came out. Up oh, and there is Brian. He's always available to try things out for us and make sure that they're good. He wouldn't want us to eat anything bad. He is doing a happy dance there. You just can't see all of him. <laughs> and Hannah's getting involved too. Now while you see me and Bailey doing the majority of the work at the table, Brooke is in the kitchen cooking up all the beef that we're going to need for our other meals. While Bailey waits for the oven to preheat for her granola, she is mixing up some batches of cookie dough back there. Um, she is making chocolate chip and peanut butter chocolate chip. She's going to cook some of them up and she's going to freeze some dough for later. We always appreciate having easy desserts in the freezer ready to go. You never know when you're going to have company or you're just going to have a sweet tooth. As we go along, we try to bag things up right away and keep our area clean. We uh, just want to make things as easy as possible when we're all done. We don't want to spend hours cleaning up after the freezer cooking time. And there's Bailey putting the cookies on a cookie sheet ready to go into the oven for our dessert later that night. And I think they lasted into the next day, which was surprising. Now the granola is out of the oven and needs to cool and I am done working on the waffles so I'm going to get started on making the baked penne and the lasagna. I start with the baked penne so what I do is I put a little meat sauce in the bottom of the pan, top it with some noodles, mix in some ricotta mixture which is just ricotta, parmesan, mozzarella and egg 
and then put more noodles on, more meat, and top it off with mozzarella cheese. But this recipe is really versatile. You could do what any, whatever your family enjoys. You don't have to put ricotta. You could put more cheeses in. It's, it's super easy to make, and then you just stick it in the oven one night when you need a fast dinner, and it's ready to go. All right, there's Bailey adding some coconut to the granola to give it some more flavor. Uh, later on, she also adds some raisins to the granola. And then we just put that in a freezer bag, throw it in the freezer, and when we need um, an easy breakfast, we'll pull it out. They can either eat it with milk or sometimes we'll mix it with our homemade yogurt. Either way, it's always a hit in our house. And I am gonna have to get better at taping these things for you because see, I just love to put things right in front of the camera and not even realize it. So hopefully next time you'll get a better view of what we're doing there. So while we're finishing all this up, Brooke is cooking up the lasagna noodles for our tray of lasagna. We had some leftover noodles, so I just figured we'd make a lasagna out of it. And this, the penny pasta is almost finished there. So as soon as I'm done getting that all put in the pans and it barely fit, I will put a piece of parchment paper on top and wrap it with some foil, label it with the date so it can go into the freezer once it's cooled down. Bailey is labeling her bags back there. Getting ready to move on to the next thing, but she stops for a few minutes and helps me get some shredding of the cheese done so that I can focus on um, getting ready to start that lasagna right there. So for the lasagna, I do the same thing. I put a layer of meat sauce down, then the noodles, then I spread that ricotta cheese mixture on all the noodles, put more meat sauce on, then some mozzarella cheese, and I just keep layering it until I run out of noodles. I think for this one, I had four layers um, until I ran out of my open box of lasagna noodles that I get from Azure. And then I wrap that up and put it in the freezer as well. Here we moved on to an assembly line of freezer burritos for a quick and easy lunch or just a snack if somebody's hungry. Bailey had cooked the tortillas off camera. I was in charge of putting the ground beef and taco seasoning on along with some refried beans. Then it would move to Becca who would put on some salsa and some shredded cheese. Then down there at the end was Jonathan and Brian in charge of wrapping them all up and they did a fantastic job of course everybody had to come watch and help eat some of our toppings and uh, fillings when we run when we ran out of the taco meat um, we still had tortillas and toppings left so the kids just went ahead and filled their tortillas with beans and cheese and salsa and had a little enjoyable snack all right y'all it only took a few hours and a lot of teamwork and we got it all done we got two of the penny bakes we got cookie dough granola frozen waffles burritos we are set we will be having another freezer cooking day probably in a week or two we also got everything done for tonight we have the baked potato bar the taco seasoned ground beef and the zucchini going right now and we got some things done for tomorrow it is a success we look forward to seeing you next time.